Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling Godsmith. Like I said, you guys know what I'm gonna. Like I said, I just got through NXT and AEW. First thing I'm gonna say is that, like I said to you in my predictions, and I'm hoping you guys watch my predictions. Everything I said came out. Everything I said came true. What I mean by that, I'm gonna begin really quick. The first match we had was Finn Balor versus Adam Cole for the NXT title. And it was the greatest match I've ever seen next to Jungle Boy and Chris Jericho. But I'll talk about that in my AEW side. Like, yo. And I said this. It was really good. The entrances were good. And they pulled out all the stops. Because you know what? Finn Balor, and I've said this a lot. He's gifted in every way. He did like five, six shotgun drop kicks to Cole. And then he got it. Because Cole found a weakness. He got him with, the, got him with his left knee. And the thing was that... Finn thought he was going to get the one with the coup de grace, but he kicked out of it. And then the funny thing was, and then he, he tried to, and then Adam Cole tried to do the Panama Sunrise, but he counted it. And then Adam Cole did the um, 19, 1916, countered that one, turned it into a, turned into an instant gurry and turned it into a last shot and knocked him out. And the crazy thing, like the ending of the pit, like the ending was, I'm going to tell you this because now I'm going to spoiler territory. Like Johnny Gargano is back. You guys could sit there and think I'm crazy, but this dude was there. Like, Finn was looking at a ghost. He was standing with the black NXT shirt for life, not in his red one, in the black one. And he came back. Like, his music hit, and he was there. It wasn't like he was, like, they turned off the lights and you see him. No, he was there on the ramp, walked up to it. Like, as soon as the match was over, didn't bother with Adam Cole because he retained the title. And hit him with a chair. And made him run into the locker room. That's how crazy it was. My second thing I want to talk about. The second match that we that we saw was really good. Because NXT. I'm going to say this. AW. And I'm going to say this too. Jungle Boy is ready to become champion. Because he, he lasted 10 minutes with Chris Jericho. And Chris Jericho can not beat Jungle Boy. Everything he thought he was going to beat him with. He didn't, pass, he didn't tap out to the... He didn't tap out to the the walls of Jericho, he didn't get a pin off the Judas effect, like he had to Chris Jericho couldn't beat Jungle Boy like everything that Jungle Boy came up with he, he he couldn't do it and now I'm gonna talk about the second match which was which was a great match in my opinion, which was the um, which was the Damian Priest and Killian Dane rivalry which I think this rivalry is gonna stay for a while it was a great match, but I feel bad for Damian Priest like he got his ribs broken because of Damian, uh, because of Killian Dane because he just ripped, like, he just doing, he was doing avalanches. The funny thing is, like, he got him with the, he got him with the, this is closed one, and then he got him with the reckoning. It's like, the reckoning is like, I would say it's like a, it's like a, it's like a crossroads, but so much better, like, a lot more oomph to it. But it was a good match. It was a fun match. Everybody was into it. I did like the Kushida, I love the Kushida versus Cameron Grimes match, because that was really good. I think Cameron Grimes is showing everybody that he's not, like, he got, he got, he got, he got, he got the rematch. He got the, he got the he got the run back off that match after the after the Boston stuff with the Kushida the first time and I think Kushida's good. I just think he I think he should be on getting a title right now, going after that two oh five title. That's you know, he him and Leo Rush need to go. They need to because I wanna see a match like that, I do. And I'm telling you, bro. But now I'm gonna talk about the women's title match for um the women's title, NXT women's title. I'm gonna talk about it guys. And I apologize if this is a long video. I apologize in the end. And for as I'm first doing it. Yo, the NXT women's title. And I'm going to say this because I'm not. Before I'm going to get into like a little bit more into the story. I'll tell you when it's uh, spoiler territory. Because it was a good. It was a good feeling. Like they made a good video package for this rivalry. Because this rivalry. Her between, between Shayna Baszler and Rhea Ripley. It shouldn't have happened. And it did. And Rhea... She she's 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 good. Rhea is for how tall she is, she is great. And everything that that Shayna tried to do to her, Rhea found a counter for. Like she used her friend as a shield to do the, like to do a sense on, knocked her out, got her friends ejected. Like they tried to interfere, they got ejected, so she knocked them out and she balls up her fist like this. And then she's she thought she was gonna hit her, so she backs up and she's all scared and stuff. I was laughing about that one, but you know what? I'm going to tell you, man, like, Rhea, and I'm going to say this a lot, Rhea shouldn't have, Rhea 
shouldn't have done what she like. We shouldn't have won Survivor Series with War Games because that that just proved to us like she's ready. And I mean, why she's ready? She's ready for Becky. She's ready for Oscar. She's ready for Charlotte. She's ready for anybody who steps with her. And I guess that's that level I'm talking about. And I, and I was and I and I said this. You're gonna hear me say this a lot, but I said this two years ago when she was coming here, and I said this to her. I said this to y'all. I said y'all. I said to you guys, like, yo, we is going to do it. She's going to do it dirty. And she's going to win. She's going to she's gonna be the most dominant woman in NXT. And I said this, just like Shayna was. And I said this to the people. But now I'm going to spoil it. Now I'm going to spoil it, too. Because after everything that Rhea did, after everything that Shayna did, she tried to get in a coquina clutch. And she was out. Like, she was, like, she was, she was fading. Like, she was going to pass out fading. But the funny thing is, which is the really cleverest thing I've never seen anybody do. She grabbed the ref collar on his shirt, and she had the strength in her arm. And out of nowhere, she tries to do a cold loop to submit her, and then she does the avalanche off the second, off the top rope, and she gets the pin. And the crazy part was that it's such a momentous, like, I'm happy that she won, guys. Like, I'm so happy that she won, because the fact is, now, now that Shane is not champion, she can't boast. She can't do it. Because Rhea was the one to come after her. Like, how Shayna was the one that came after Ember Moon. And Ember Moon came and tried to come after Oscar, but couldn't really come after Oscar yet. Because Oscar was really kind of building her own self, but she gave her the title. Because Oscar was already dominant in herself. But like I said, it's always the shoes on the other foot with Shayna Baszler. Because now you got Rhea Ripley. You need somebody like Rhea Rip against Rhea Ripley. Like Dakota Kai, like me, yeah, like these other women, like even EO. And EO, EO, I think she will become women's champion as well, too, because everybody's gonna have that belt. But, but think about Rhea, she's gonna fight hard to protect that belt. And what I mean by guys, like I said, same thing with AEW, a lot of things was fantastic. A lot, I think the biggest matches were the women's title, because that one brought everybody in to Johnny Gargano angle, because that was crazy to me. And I'm thinking, you know what? Like I said, guys, I think Jungle Boy is ready to be a champion. I think the Young Bucks are ready. I think that match between him and Scorpio, them between Scorpio, between SCU and the Young Bucks was a fantastic match. I think the match between, uh, I forgot what I mean, um, something, something, something Starlight between her and Britt Baker, Britt Baker was good. I think she earned, I'm glad she got that number of contenders spot. But here's my one question. And maybe wrestling, maybe Brian and Vinny can answer this. Maybe wrestling and Verbal can answer this. But who the, like, what is the Nightmare, like, what is the Nightmare Collective deal, dude? I keep seeing them. Like, I don't like, I don't like this Nightmare Collective stuff on the AEW. I don't like them. The dudes are really, really weird. I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know what's going on with the Dark Order now. Because those dudes have lost their freaking minds. And the Dark Order is already freaking crazy and insane to me. Because they're just attacking people. And the, the, the freaking dude, Mr. E, Los, Mr. Mr. Evil or Los Evil or something, whatever his name is, is literally a freaking psychopath. Like, what kind of person uses that? What kind of person uses freaking the... The commercial for addiction and, and, and gambling as a dark order gimmick. It was disturbing. They go dark with that. They go too dark with that. Same thing with 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 with, with, with that with that woman and she she showed up to the ring. That was bizarre. Like a roadie. That was ultra bizarre, dude. And and, and awesome Kong with that with that switchblade cutting people cutting pieces of women's hair off. Like son. What are their goals? Like they keep trying to get her in and collect her. She just took the took a, took her heel off and hit her in the face and I. I just I don't want to know that, bro. I just want to know. And I love that match between Cody and Butcher and the Blade. I'm glad they won. I'm glad they're actually putting against a fight between you know, MJF's higher I guess tag team. Cause I don't understand, bro. I, I don't get it. I, I don't, bro. I like Darby Allen cause like. Yo, that, I'm telling you, that Cody Cutter, I don't even know how Cody can do that, because I really feel like he's ripping off a um, DDP, because I really think that's like, 
Or he came up with a different version because it looks like a coffin drop, but it's not a coffin drop. But like I said, guys, oops, like I said, AEW was a fantastic show. All the matches were good. NXT was good. I think, you know what? Like I said, with next week and, and, and next week, and they're bringing back the Dusty Rose Classic and Takeovers coming, this means that they're ready. Everybody's ready this time. And I said this before, I said this in my predictions that it's going to change. The Undisputed Era are not going to lose them belts, bro. Because you know what? They're too good to lose them. I don't call just proved it against against um against against um Finn Balor. He just proved it. Whether Johnny Gargano involved himself or didn't involve himself, see, he say well, they're playing chess. Donnie Spadaro's playing chess, and Johnny Gargano's playing chess, and he's playing, and he's playing cards with you. He's playing poker. You showed your hand, dude. This is what I mean. Everybody don't. Th everybody thinks that. Because you're a guy, or because you go a certain way, or because you do this, you're out there. No. Like I said this. Everything that happened on NXT was going to happen. Everything I said that was going to happen on on AEW happened. Because Jungle Boy is ready. Like, we should have not won that title. Because I thought maybe she was going to get a clean... She got a clean win, bro. It wasn't a dirty win. It wasn't like a interference or somebody got knocked out with a chair. No. It was a clean win. She earned that belt. We is the most dominant woman in NAC besides Shayna Baszler. And Shayna Baszler met her match. She needs to lose. Because you know what? She wasn't fighting hard for that title. Because we was ready to fight for anybody. She Listen, if EO and, and Bianca gets involved and Tony gets involved, that means they won it. That means they want the title so bad, they want to fight for it. See, that's my thing. Because Worlds Collide is just the prelude to everybody going out there. Because like I said, guys, but it was a great show. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.